Okay, let's try this again. So I told Nathan I already did a video for this and kind of botched the video for it. And this mic stand keeps wanting to drift on me, so. Hopefully that'll stay for a hot minute. Okay, so, pardon my reach. I am using my iPad for both, gosh darn it, for both the chart and for the song track. So I'm going to be reaching back and forth a little bit. Um, so, come right now. Wow, that's really drifting. Um, okay, I think that's about as good as my left hand can do. The opening of it, of course, has that little weird synth thing, aside from the thralling masses. Um, starts off with just four on the floor, or quarters on the bass drum, snare drum on two and four. Um, every other bar or so, he's kind of doing a four e and a, so. First time through the pre-chorus, he does kind of just a disco thing. He keeps the four on the floor, but then adds hi-hat on the ups. All right, first time through the chorus, almost, well, every time. They bring it down. Um, so let's play through it through there. I bet I don't catch this first note. We'll pick it up wherever. do filling. Right there, it's just right back. He does a little fill. So, um, on filling his, he actually does that. Right. And then into, instead of doing four on the floor, he's doing four on the snare. All four. Uh. If you ever played Pretty Woman, it's the same thing. Um, and then he just does kind of a fill to bring himself out of those crashes into that more spacious bit of uh, verse two. So. And there it's the same. Um, the thing that's gonna be different is going to be going into the pre-chorus. Uh, the drummer and the bassist kinda do a little fill together um, if your bassist isn't going to do that, I wouldn't worry about it too much. Um, but one thing that I did think was cool is coming up 
in the pre-chorus. Um, yeah, let's let's give that a listen real quick. So he does a little thing with the bass player. But what I thought was cool was going into that chorus. Um, he's doing 16th notes in a five note pattern. So it's two bass drums, a snare, a bass drum, and a snare. And then he repeats it. And then it ends on that second bass drum, not completing the phrase, um, but it ends on one there. Right? And he's doing flams. That's how we're playing that. Right? And then into the normal chorus, down. This time he's not going to do a simple fill on that that word filling. Um, they're actually going to do the whole band, so it's going to be bass drum and crash. Um, and then he actually ends up doing like a little floor on the. Da -da 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 -da. Like that. Let's give that a shot. So that is kind of the gist. Um, that bit, the tag, we lift our hands up. That's just a half time mm, 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 mm. with some dotted, um, you either think of dotted quarter notes or um, quarter note triplets there. Here, here. Whatever, and then big ending. Um, the bridge is really not much. Um, He's just doing kind of a disco thing, just um, sloshy ups, right? And then when they go back into the chorus, it seems like he's 
crashing his ride, and his left hand still keeps that disco thing going on. And then Phil were appropriate. Um, so that's kind of the things I got from it. I think the coolest bit was that five note grouping. Um, that was fun. However you want to play that. Um, you can move it around the toms as much as you like, or as little as you like. You can just go. Except don't play it quite as sloppy as that. Yeah. So, that's, that's my two cents on a little tutorial on this tune. Um, hope you guys have fun with it. I know I've had fun. I'm going to keep working on it, keep making it cool, and then maybe I'll do uh, a play-along video myself. Anyway, um, good luck with it. Have fun. Bye.